Greetings, Japan fans. Today's show, we're going to talk about DEI in the organization. My shoe, arigatou gozaimasu, and welcome back to the 10th year of the Leadership Japan series. And I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie, Tokyo franchise owner, president of Dale Carnegie, Tokyo Training, and the three time best selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, which is Zaegyo in Japanese, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. My new book, Stop Wasting Money on Training in Japanese, Training Day. And all of my books are available on Amazon. This podcast brings insights, examples, and experience about leading in Japan. Trust me, it is different here. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but we value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Libsyn. Unlike many other Hosting organizations, Libsyn have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on Apple Podcasts. Mondays, the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show podcast. Tuesday, the Presentation Japan series. And every second Tuesday, the Business Tatsuji no Oishia show. Wednesdays, the Sales Japan series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro podcast or show. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery Show podcast. Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Before we get going, today's handy Japanese phrase is. Ojikan itadakimasu ka? Ojikan itadakimasu ka? Can I borrow your time? Can I have a minute of your time? May I bother you for a minute? Ojikan itadakimasu ka? Ojikan itadakimasu ka? Ojikan itadakimasu ka? Um, listen, um, can I just have you for a minute? Ojikan itadakimasu ka? Ojikan itadakimasu ka? Can I borrow you for just a minute? Can I just get a minute of your time? Ojikan itadakimasu ka? Ojikan itadakimasu ka? This is episode number 518, 518. Today we're talking about shepherding diversity, equity, and inclusion change within the organization. The big chiefs in the organization have embraced the idea of diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI. Even more, they expect middle management to get on board with this push and make it happen. That means people who probably haven't spent one second thinking about DEI now have to be the role models for the new cause. I always tell people that the success or failure of DEI in Japan is decided at the kacho or section chief level. This is where the bulk of the people are being supervised and where the decisions about coaching, promotion, and role allocations are made. The president has signed off on the idea and the Kacho level leaders have to drive this throughout the ranks. Here are nine ideas for Kacho level leaders to consider regarding how to turn the rhetoric into a reality. Number one, avoid negative self talk. It is not unusual that change represents a challenge, and the self talk we generate as a result may easily become negative. If we allow this to happen, then the people under our supervision will follow our lead. The change effort will flounder. We may have concerns, fears, even resentment. The president, however, didn't ask us for our input and expects us to lead the charge on getting DEI stitched into the fabric of the firm. What comes out of our mouth will determine what everyone in the section will think about the change, and so we must be highly disciplined to get the messaging right. Number two, be open about your concerns. There is no problem with expressing our own struggle with the change. That is different to saying, this is nonsense, and we can all just ignore the president's initiatives. It is a good launching point to get the team involved in how we can implement the new approach and what we can do about it in our part of the machine. Never forget, 
People own the world they create, so allow them to have ownership of the process. Number three, be realistic. Installing a new accounting system or a production line are relatively concrete changes which are easy to understand. Having people adopt a new way of thinking and the values which go with that are much higher order tasks. This is territory which is at the highest level of complexity for which we have probably had very little training. We need to adjust our expectations about the speed of change possible. Number four, gather information through questions and research. The team is looking to our leadership. We've been made the leader because we have been an expert in our area of the business. This DEI area is a new area concerning which we need to become expert. Any new initiative requires study and we should approach DEI in the exact same manner. Find out more and come back from the break. Today's show is brought to you by our public courses, but we also are doing custom in-house programs. We do these in both Japanese and English. We do them face-to-face in our super safe classroom, and we do them live online. Our show today is being brought to you by, on the 9th of June, we'll have our Winning with Relationship Selling Program. Excellent sales program, this one. Covers everything salespeople need to know in one place. Also on the 9th, we'll have our Dale Cunney course. It's our flagship course, which is really covering mindset change, coming out of your comfort zone, leadership, communication, EQ, your people skills, and dealing with stress as well. Wonderful program. On the 15th of June, we'll have our High Impact Presentations class. One of my favorites. I teach this class a lot. Amazing progress. Amazing progress. In fact, I did this course last week, two days last week. Incredible progress in just two days. People come in one end, day one, in the morning. They go out day two, in the evening. Totally changed. Totally changed. Unrecognizably changed for the better. They become so persuasive. They know how to engage their audience. Phenomenal program. Go to our website at www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. Get my best-selling books. Japan Sales Mastery, which in Japanese is Zaegyo. This is the Bible for selling in Japan. Japan Business Mastery, Japan Presentations Mastery Plus. Stop wasting money on training, which in Japanese is training de okane o muru ni sonu wa yami masho, and all are available on Amazon. If you like learning by watching videos, we have nearly 2,000 there for you at Tokyo Japan Balcony TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show on Japan every Monday, Tokyo time. Fridays, we have the Japan Business Mastery Show, and on Sundays, we release Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders from small and medium enterprises all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Terebi Show. You can email me at greg.story at dalekani.com. Welcome back. Number five, be as productive as possible in your current role. DEI is the type of initiative which is a major change in how we think about the possibility of getting more creativity in our business and how we work together. It doesn't mean that all of the other goals are dropped or that our accountability is reduced. In fact, the opposite. This is now an additional role we must play and to the best of our ability. Our capacity to rise through the ranks is reflected in how well we adjust and adapt to change. And this is an arena where we can demonstrate that capacity. Number six, give new ideas a chance. We may know little about the why of DEI, and often organizations are not skilled in this department. Nonetheless, we have to self-educate on this topic. We can dwell on the negatives, or we can look for the positives. As we are the leader, 
we can be assured our team members will have no problem identifying the negatives, so it is up to us to lead the charge on the positives. Number seven, recognize successes. Leaders have a tendency to wait until everything is completed before they celebrate success of recognizing the efforts put into the project. DEI isn't a project with a timeline. It is a fundamental change in how we work, so there is no end point. We need to be looking for any progress on the journey and make a point to embrace, recognize, and celebrate it. Number eight, consider contacting your organization's internal resources. This could be a perfect opportunity to ask for coaching or mentoring on how to execute on delivering DEI. This is new, and maybe there are resources which can save us time and effort. No one would be expected to know all there is to know about something as new as DEI, and therefore there is no stigma to asking for help to become a better leader of the process of integration of DEI into daily work. Number nine, work on being a leader. Leaders do three things. Set the direction, make sure all the processes are working well, and build the people. Introducing DEI into the leadership equation is part of the building the people component. If we're able to gather all of the creativity of our teams and our competitors cannot, then we will win against them over the long term. We will out-innovate them. And our role is to make sure DEI does its part to deliver that innovation. Big cultural changes like DEI can't be easily forced downward from the executive suite. At some point, the people leaders have to get behind it or the whole thing becomes a box ticking exercise and none of the benefits accrue to the organization. Work on the culture level leaders if you want to get real benefits from DI. They hold the keys to the kingdom. Thank you for joining the Leadership Fan Series. If you found the program useful, then tell your family, friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. You can contact me at greg.story at dalecunny.com. Our website is www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. Until the next episode, take what you thought valuable, put it into action, because idea application is what makes winners winners. So be one of them. Remember, I'm in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon.